What's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the top 3 best great axe builds for PvP and PvE in New World. So for each and every single build I will explain what attributes and perks you want to have. Then as well I will show you the best gameplay of me using different weapons so you will know which abilities you want to use first on your enemies and much more. So if all this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first build which is the one and only great axe and hatchet and these are the attributes you want to have. So then like you can see you always want to split all of your attribute points to have. So put 50% into strength and 50 in constitution and around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution. And lastly for your gear you want to go with full heavy armor and use the shield as well just to look cooler but it's not required and won't give you any extra abilities or stats. So it is your own personal preference. So then for our first weapon we have the great axe and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock the first ability called the reap and then get these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second second ability called the charge and then get these two perks. Then from this point now let's move over to the other side and unlock all these three perks. Then lastly unlock the last third ability called the gravity well and then get these three perks. And now from this point you're for free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. So then let's go over to the second weapon which is the hatchet and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock this berserk ability with these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second ability called the feral rush and then get these two perks. Perks. Then lastly unlock the last third ability with these two perks. And now from here let's take a closer look at the other side and unlock this one last perk and that's it. Now again from this point and onwards you're for free to choose in whichever order you want to spend your points. So then let's move over to the gameplay where I'll show you the best way to play this tank build and how to get out your abilities the best possible results. So first things first for your great axe Q ability we have the gravity well which you can just aim and shoot and if you hit the target in that electric storm he will take damage and get stunned. Then the second ability is called the reap which basically extends your axe for 5 meters and if an enemy is running away you can pull him back. And lastly we have the F ability called the charge and this is another dash ability which will deal damage and give you more mobility. And then going straight into the hatchet and when attacking an enemy it's super simple. You want to use your Q ability aka act with berserk mode and then keep on using your auto attacks and use the R and F abilities which are just simple damage spells. The best thing about berserk mode is that it will give you self healing and movement speed so you can use it to run away or run towards an enemy. And as this weapon is super simplistic and straightforward the only thing Thing that you need to know is that we have unlocked the throwing axe ability. So to escape enemy attacks you won't be able to block but instead use the heavy armor and dodge their incoming attacks. Or switch to the great axe and use the blocking system. But now on the other hand we can use the throwing axe which you can use to pull mobs or hand animals from a lot further distance. Or on the other hand you can finish off players with low health. So this is how it works. You use the same mouse button that you would use for blocking so for me it's the right mouse button. And then I aim it and shoot it with the left mouse button and that's it. Just of course keep in mind that every axe throw will consume your stamina. So use it as much as you can but never get below 20% so then you would get it back up super quickly. And then as far as your weapon combinations go when attacking a player first of all you want to use your great axe and act by the gravity well and then follow that up with the charge ability. Then when the enemy is about to run away use your reap ability and pull him back. Then now switch to the hatchet and act with berserk mode and keep on using your normal attacks plus the RNF ability which we already looked into but they are just normal damage spells. And lastly if you are fighting against a melee player then in between fights remember to block so do one or two normal attacks and then block and keep on doing that. And then when you are fighting against a ranged player try to run around and dodge his spells with the jumps and by moving your character from one side to another and by doing this you can still move forwards and attack a player but you make it a lot harder to hit you while you are closing the distance. Ok and now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This hatchet and great axe weapon combination right now is super strong and as you are using a full heavy armor you can easily fight 3 or even 4 players just by yourself. And then last but not the least for the hatchet and great axe for pvp you want to use the opal gem. And for pve if you want to be a tank then use the carnelian gem. And then for all of your gear get the enix gems. So if you were looking to be super tanky and hard to kill but as well have the ability to do a bunch of damage as a solo or group player then this is the build for you so have fun. 
So then moving over to the second build which is the Great Axe and Warhammer. And these are the attributes you want to have. So then no matter from which level you start using this build you first of all want to get your strength to 100 or even 150 and then start building your constitution. And around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution. And lastly for your armor you want to be again in the heavy category which means using full heavy equipment. So then for our first weapon we have the Great Axe and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock the first ability called the Reap and then get these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second ability called the Charge and then get these two perks. Then from this point now let's move over to the other side and unlock all these three perks. Then lastly unlock the last third ability called the Gravity Well and then get these three perks. And now from this moment you're for free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. Okay and now let's go over to the second weapon which is the Warhammer and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first you want to unlock the first ability called the Clear Out and then get these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second ability called the Shock Wave and then get these two perks. And lastly unlock the last third ability called the Path of Destiny and then get these two perks. And now from this point let's take a closer look at the left side and unlock all these three perks and that's it. Now again you can spend your points in whatever order you like. So then let's move over to the gameplay where I'll show you the best way to play this build. So first of all for your great axe Q ability we have the gravity well which you can just aim and shoot and if you hit the target in that electric storm he will take damage and get stunned. Then the second ability is called the reap which basically extends your axe for 5 meters and if an enemy is running away you can pull him back. And lastly we have the F ability called the charge and this is another dash ability which will deal damage and give you more mobility. And now let's go straight into the warhammer and the first Q spell is called a clear out and it is a wide swing that knocks back all targets in 4 meter range. Then the R ability is called the shockwave and when using the spell it will give us the ability to slam down the hammer and create a small earthquake and all players standing in it will get stunned for 2 seconds. And lastly we have the F ability called the path of destiny which creates a huge electric wave and all enemies standing in this path will be taking bunch of damage. So the way you want to attack a player is by using your great axe and then activating the gravity well and then follow that up with the charge ability. Then when the enemy is out of all of your stunts he will probably try to run so use the reap ability and pull him back. Then now switch to the war hammer and either way use your shockwave or path of destiny and stun or deal damage or save it for later and then keep on using auto attacks plus the block so you do one or two heavy attacks and then block in between. So like you can see with this build there is no one best way to use your spells. The most important thing is to know what each ability does and with time and practice you will know what to do in each situation. Okay and now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This great axe and warhammer weapon combination is very good because you can still survive for very long but at the same time deal bunch of damage. So then last but not the least for the warhammer and great axe for pvp use the opal gem and then for pve use the carnelian gem and then for all of your gear get the enix gems. So if you were looking for super strong build for pvp and pve then this is the one for you so like per usual i hope you enjoy so then moving over to my last and final build which is a super fun class and for the weapons you want to use the great axe and sword with shield and then these are the attributes you want to have so like in the previous two builds you want to divide 50% into strength and 50 in constitution and around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution and if you ever get above 400 points and more then i would recommend to just put all of your points in the constitution but on the other hand if you are lower tier player that hasn't reached the max level yet then i would suggest to put about 100 points into strength and 100 constitution and then continue building up from there. So then for the first weapon we have the great axe and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock the first ability called the reap and then get these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second ability called the charge and then get these two perks. Then from this point let's move over to the other side and unlock all these three perks. Then lastly unlock the last third ability called the gravity well and then get these three perks. And now from this point you're for free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. So then for the second weapon we have the sword and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first right off from the start you want to unlock both these two perks and then get the first ability called the leaping strike and then get these two perks. Then from here let's move over to the other side and unlock the second ability called the shield rush and then get these four perks. And then lastly unlock the last third ability called the defiant stance and then get these two perks. And now from this point you're for free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. 
Okay, so now let's go over to the gameplay, where I'll show you the best way to play this build. And as we already looked into the Great Axe twice, I will just skip it for now, and we will go straight for the second weapon, which is the Sword, and the first Q spell is called the Leaping Strike which basically is a damage ability that makes you leap 6 meters to the enemy. Then the second ability is called the Shield Rush, and this spell makes your character run very fast for 5 meters. And if you hit the target while running, he will get knocked back. Then our third ability is called the Defiant Stance, which if you activate for the next 8 seconds, your resistance is increased. Or in PvE, if you're using the Carnelian Gem, you can use this ability to increase your threat level. So then for the actual way to play this build, it doesn't matter if you're by yourself in open world or farming mobs in PvE. Your main goal is to be a tank and have a lot of mobility, so at any moment you can run towards your enemies or run away from them. So the way I like to do it is at the beginning of the fight I use my gravity well, and then I follow that up with the charge ability. Then when the enemy is out of half your stance he will probably try to run, so use the reap ability and pull him back. Then now let's switch to the sword and use the shield rush ability. Then after that, either way, if the enemy is running away, use the leaping strike and catch him. Or if the enemy is still fighting, then use your defiant stance and while blocking just soak up all the incoming damage and wait till your cooldowns are back up and that's about it. The best thing about this build is that it's very versatile and has a lot of mobility spells, so you can easily participate in open world PvP, PvE farming, expedition tanking, then even in 50v50 wars and much more. So in my last and final conclusions for this build, this great axe and sword with shield weapon combination is not meant to deal a lot of damage, but instead it's built to survive multiple players by yourself and still have the option to help out your teammates and have the ability to use bunch of defensive skills. And then lastly for the great axe and sword for PvP, use the Opal gem. And then for PvE, if you want to be a tank then get the Carnelian gem. And for all of your gear, amulets, rings and everything else, use the Enix gems. So in a quick summary, if you're looking for the best CC and mobility tank build that enemy players won't be able to kill you in, then this is the build for you. So like per usual, I hope you have fun and that's about it. So I really do appreciate Appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Great Axe builds that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so this way you could support the channel and you wouldn't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. So take it easy, peace.